this will never be behind them or any of us. We live with the loss of Jennifer every day. A close friend of Jennifer Farber Dulos opens up only to NBC Connecticut about the verdict in the Michelle Draconis trial and the impact it's had on her loved ones. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. I'm Keisha Grant. And I'm Mike Heideck. That's Carrie Luff. She says the unanimous guilty verdict feels like accountability to her. She tells us that when a mother is brutally taken away from her five children, there can never be justice. NBC Connecticut's Kevin Geis has the exclusive interview from Darianne. The primary reason that I was in that courtroom every day was because Jennifer could not be there. I was there for her. I don't want to be quite so self-important as to say I was there as her, but there was an aspect of that for me. I wanted to be there every day to bear witness for her. Close friend of Jennifer Farber Dulos, Carrie Luft, opening up about spending seven weeks in the courtroom for Michelle Traconis's trial and describing the moment she heard the unanimous guilty verdict. It was stunning. It was like being stunned. Um, I think there, for me, there was a sense of kind of being suspended in time there. Luft is hopeful the arduous legal process will help investigators find Jennifer. I I believe that there are some people who may have been involved in this situation who do know more than they've ever let on. And I hope that that comes to light. She also says the epidemic of intimate partner violence is a cause Jennifer would have been in favor of championing. Luff notes Jennifer would have never wanted anyone to endure what she did. It's important to note that this case has received a disproportionate amount of coverage and I realize I'm contributing to that by speaking to you right now but there are so many people whose stories are not being told whose stories when they go missing don't get covered you know in that crucial window of time when it might be possible to find them if they are still alive and you know tragically for those people who are murdered by their partners that their stories are not being told i think that needs to change moving forward luft says this trial will always have a profound impact on her and those that endured the seven weeks with her but she hopes her legacy will live on in a number of ways you know she was incredibly accomplished um, she's a great writer a really powerful wonderful hilarious thinker so you know, I think down the road, um, it would be wonderful if some of her work could be given more life. But she notes while that may be a ways down the road, for those close to Jennifer, it isn't hard to look at memories fondly. She was all about love. She loved her children so immensely. She always wanted to be a mom. She was not some photo online, that she was a real, incredible, vivid, hilarious, wonderful person. Kevin Geis, NBC Connecticut News.